Good morning, St. John's families. I hope you are having a wonderful week and enjoying the sun we had last week as we head into some more rain gray for the fall. Um, this morning's story is the story of the Ten Commandments. The children have heard of the Ten Commandments many times over the years through godly play um, as the story of the Ten Best Ways. So here we go, the Ten Commandments from Exodus 20, chapters 1 through 17. The Ten Commandments are the laws God want us to obey, but we are sinners, so we break them every single day. God wants us to be sorry that we haven't done his will, and though we don't deserve it, God's great love is with us still. God sent his son to take our place and keep the law each day. When Jesus died and rose again, he took our sins away. The Holy Spirit comes to us and makes us realize God's law can guide our lives so that we're loving, kind, and wise. God gave his laws to Moses on a mountain long ago. These Ten Commandments are God's gift. There's something we should know. They help us live a godly life and show us what to do. Now listen to what God has to say about them just to you. First commandment, you shall have no other gods. I am your one and only God and I'll take care of you. I love you more than you can know. Now love and trust me too. Second commandment is you shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Do not misuse my holy name to lie or curse or swear. Instead, call on me anytime in praise and thanks and prayer. Three, remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. At church, at home, at Sunday school, you hear my holy word, receive forgiveness in my gifts, and message you have heard. Honor your father and your mother. Your parents and your teacher give you loving care each day. Respect all leaders, love them too, and willingly obey. You shall not murder. Do what you can to keep folks safe. Protect them when you can. And don't get even hate or hurt that isn't in my plan. You shall not commit adultery. Respect each other, girls and boys, and don't be crude or mean. Forget those dirty, shameful words. Keep thoughts and actions clean. You shall not steal. It's wrong to steal. Instead, protect each other's property. Since I've created everything, you're doing it for me. Eight, you shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. When people lie, their words can hurt themselves and others too. Be kind and thoughtful when you speak and always say what's true. Nine, you shall not covet your neighbor's house. Be thankful for the things you have, your house, your books, your toys, instead of wanting what belongs to other girls and boys. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife or his manservant or maidservant, his ox or donkey or anything that belongs to your neighbors. Encourage people that you know and help them get along. Help them to keep what's rightly theirs and keep their friendships strong. God's law is perfect. We are not. In sin, we would be lost. But Jesus has redeemed us all at an amazing cost. It is through God's great power alone we've rescued and set free to live as children of the Lord now and eternally. The end.
have a wonderful week, my friends.